Hello, thanks for joining me. If you've seen my Brint Ivy Tunnel video, you'll know that I'm both fascinated and frightened by railway tunnels. In this video, I visit the Athcaffan Tunnel on the disused Newcastle Emlyn branch line with my very talented friend Nicola, who's a hypnotherapist and Archie the dog, to face up to a bigger challenge. This tunnel is 167 yards long and curved, which means it is very, very dark. I have with difficulty managed to step inside it on a couple of previous visits but never walked through it. After some breathing work and talking we headed into the blackness at the eastern portal. Amazingly, I was quite calm. It's very black isn't it? Uh -huh. <laughs> a bit like Indiana Jones isn't it? <laughs> right, is my talk on? No. There's a bracket there for the signal cables, signal bearer. Same sort of masonry as the Bryn Tivy tunnel bit, isn't it? With thick masonry, not quite as barbarous as Dickens would have it. The refuge. What's that for? That's for railway workers that are on the line. Uh -huh. um, Anybody who's on the line working on the tunnel, um, then they can uh, duck in there if a train comes. Um, and you can see the, the slate it's bored into. I mean, it really is yeah. solid yeah. or division yeah. rock. It's really thick stuff. But actually, not just railway workers. There was a bit of a thing around here. Um, I don't know how it started, but I've heard of it in other places. If your child had whooping cough, uh -huh. you um, you brought them through the tunnel. All right. And it was supposed to cure the whooping cough. <laughs> yeah. Smelling tar was another thing, but it, they did do it. It was a local thing here that if your child had whooping cough, yeah. to try and cure the whooping cough, yeah. You um, you walk brought them the walked them through the tunnel. So if a train was going, I think they were only about four a day. But if a train was coming, you could duck in there. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're fairly shallow actually, but you could get in there. Scary. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it all being dragged out of bed. I presumably they got. I mean, this was in the sort of eighteen nineties when it opened. Presumably they were going in there with candles. Yeah. Certainly wouldn't have gone in there with an electric torch. Ah, light at the end already. Yeah. How are you feeling? Absolutely fine. Oh, yeah. oh. Absolutely fine. Another refuge. There's actually quite a few. Oh gosh, there's not a lot of space in that one, is there? Oh. It's the rock is protruding into it. I don't quite know what that refer oh, maybe that's how many yards we've gone from that end that portal, I don't know. Like this before. I've been in like little tunnels, you can see Yes, yeah. Well, the, like there's a curve on it because it goes into this um, bit of rock that juts out into the tivy. And that, there's hardly any space in there, let's be honest. <laughs> that is not a very functional refuge mm. because it's so full of rock. There's all the water coming down the rock as well. Yes, there is. It, it is weeping. But the crown, actually, the crown is a bit wet as well. I'm looking for joins because they built them in sections. They'd have started at each end and then blast through and then they'd, once they got a section ready, they sent the masons and the um, bricklayers in and they'd do a section about four metres long yeah. and then they'd leave the bricks sticking out to join into the next section. You can usually see the joins. There's no join on that section. Oh, actually, that might be the join there. But interestingly enough, it's the stretcher bond brick. So it's stretcher, 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 half stretcher. And then there's a row up there oh, yeah, where it's headers. 
Right. It's probably like on the other side as well. Yeah. It's a row of headers. Nice detail. Yeah. The mortars got quite worn in places. Probably would have been mine mortar at that point, at that age. A few down this side, that's a bit more deep. But that's really running with water actually, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, there's another inspection door at the other end. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's another bit of signalling yeah. bracket there. I can hear water running. Can't see it, but I can hear it. It is actually quite dry in here. Yeah, it's dry. Yeah, I mean it has been dry recently, hasn't it? Quite a bigger one. Though. Yeah, that's it. That's quite decent, isn't it? You could actually hide in there. Where's this water running? Seems to be on the left. Ah, it's dripping. It's dripping. Yeah. Uh, it's coming from the crown. <laughs> Move along that bit a bit. Have a look. Yeah. Oh, there's a stripe of headers in the absolute top of the crown as well. Is that because of all the rain? Yes. It's percolating through the rock. There must be a, a point in the rock there where it naturally drains out. There's a lot of refuges on this actually. I'm surprised how many, but some of them are really it's it's worse than useless. <laughs> Really dripped on. Well, these poor children have been traumatised. Yeah, I know. Been ill and sucking the sand on. Oh, that's a really deep one. There's a bit of a wave in that part there. You can see a join really clearly there. Yeah. So that's probably the second section. And out the other end. Right, right let's go out and breathe. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling now? Fine. The western portal is in a damp cutting. I've always found this an uncomfortable place to be, horribly reminiscent of the cutting in Charles Dickens' ghost story The Signalman, which he describes with words like clammy and jagged stone and an earthy, deadly smell, and the tunnel portal which he calls a dungeon with its barbarous, depressing and forbidding portal. Whilst Nicola helped me to see it in a different light, Archie found a particularly good stick. <laughs> How are you feeling in here then? This bit? Absolutely fine now. Now I've yeah, I've redefined it. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's fine. Some dripping rock. Some barbarous masonry. <laughs> Sharp jutting rock and barbarous masonry though, can you see? It is yeah. it is exactly as in that description, isn't yeah. it? He's obviously visited he's obviously visited one. He's like yes. story yes. to get all those in the yeah. description. We've probably come and we sat here or sit here and it's a place like this to get the but you could equally describe it with nice words. Yes. It's a case of reframing it, isn't mm. it? So it's a den now. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm going back in. That's the good thing bit. Very specifically local that drift, isn't it? Yeah. So 
her husband work recently. <laughs> Picking up the light quickly from this end, actually. dark inside as I imagine. Oh, and the middle seems to we must be about near the middle now. Mm -hmm. When I was in the Bryn Tivy tunnel, it was the middle that freaked me out. Mm -hmm. And the middle doesn't appear at all. It's almost like it's like kind of Yeah. I mean you yeah if you stand yeah. here you can see you've both got, ends, can't you? you've got light at that end. And then You've got the beginnings of the light in the arch at that end. So it's not it's not as actually Bible black as I imagined it would be. Oh, sorry, Archie, I really stood on you there. Strange kind of efflorescence on this rock, isn't there? Yeah. It's almost luminous, crystalline stuff. Quartz, I suppose, perhaps. Although it's coming through the ceiling, through the crown as well, with bits of that. Eerie glow. Yeah, there's a big patch of it there. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. There's quite a hole. So they've lined onto the rock. Oh, is that masonry? What's that mortar? I think it is lime, isn't it? Because it's quite soft. Staggered, aren't they? Yeah. You'd have to know where they were. Oh, what flew out of that? that? Was that a bat? Can't see anything. Ah, there's something flying about in here. Could it be a bat? It could be a bat. Luckily, I don't have a bat phobia, so we'll fight. It is a bat, look. It is indeed a bat. Yeah, I'm not bat phobic, so we're all right on that one. Huh? No problem with bats at all. No. And I read Dracula, so. <laughs> Although I was an adult when I read Dracula, so maybe that's. We had a lady come at the school when I was in, working in school to show us, walk her bats in from a bat hospital, and she showed them all up close and they had names and she told us that they purred and all this sort of thing. So I think after doing that. Yeah. We've got bats at home, actually, they don't bother me. Mm -hmm. We've had them in the house before now. I don't know how the heck they get in, but they need to get in. I had them fall down the chimney and yeah. saved them and they are fallen out of the garage or whatever else. I just pick them up with the gloves and put them in somewhere. So. Oh, you can see a join really clearly here. You see the yeah. first section from this yeah. end. Mm -hmm. And there's the join across the top. And that's not keyed in, actually. And the, the masonry. It almost looks different there. Yeah. That looks like almost wet, doesn't it? Yeah, and that's that's slightly less barbarous masonry, not as chunky as the masonry here either. They had this style of called rustication where they put sort of extra chunky bits into the chunky. Um, just decorative, really. Which is amazing because nobody sees this, do they? <laughs> I mean, even if you're on the train going through it, you know, you can't see it because it's dark. Yeah. It's really a nice bit of engineering. Yeah, completely black that end now. What 
while I've walked the whole tunnel now. Back into the light. I went through the tunnel and back once more on my own to prove to myself I could. So tunnel phobic no more. Big thanks to Nicola for her expertise and amazing patience. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks to all my viewers for watching my videos and particularly to everyone who subscribed to the channel.